Squirt. What's up, little buddy? Hey guys, Uncle Rob here, and this is Sparta. He's kind of hanging out, so he might pop in and out. <laughs> anyway, um, I go by Uncle Rob because I am an uncle, and my name is Rob. And uh, I just wanted to say hi, um, make a little introduction. Uh, I wanted to um, just kind of lay out why I started this channel um, and why I chose to call it Uncle Rob. I just wanted to kind of present like a little bit of a platform for um, young people who might be interested in a little advice from an older person that uh, that might be in their same shoes uh, growing up. I didn't really have much of a male role model and um, I think that that's super important and I think that with a lot of the internet culture going around today, I mean you can't you can't ignore it and uh, it's definitely the first place that young folk uh, go to to look for for answers and, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of come out here and, and put up a video every once in a while hopefully at least one a week and just kind of go over things that you know I thought about when I was younger things that I had questions on things that I wanted to know things that I just thought were interesting and yeah I don't know definitely not like an advice thing but it's more like I just want to have fun and, and hopefully we can just kind of establish a rapport and, and talk about things. You know, I wanted to go over just a bunch of stuff that is nice for me to touch on from my background and like kind of come back to like tying ties. You know, I used to be really into tying ties and it was kind of because no one ever really taught me how to tie a tie. So I looked it up and, and figured it out myself and I learned how to tie like 14 different types of knots. Um, and you know, I ride motorcycles and I work on some motorcycles and so that's kind of cool definitely something when I was a kid I wanted to be around motorcycles and I wanted to learn about that and, and cars and things like that and so I have a pretty basic understanding of that and I just I would love to learn more the best way to learn is to teach so I kind of wanted to just set up a little forum I mean if anybody wants to ask any questions or or has any you know, sensitive things they want to talk about, I would happily address them. Um, and, you know, any one person that has a question that they think is embarrassing or, or might not be relatable to other people, it probably is. Um, and I know a lot of younger folk don't really have anywhere to go to ask those questions. So I would love to help out if that's necessary. Um, but yeah, a little bit about me when I was growing up. I went through a couple divorces really early on with uh, with my parents and, and a stepdad and essentially ended up living with a lot of females. I lived with my mom, my sister, and my grandmother, two cousins, and they were all girls. So I've been around a lot of females and um, always kind of looking for answers um, from other sources because I felt that being a boy was... Uh, was a little bit difficult to be asking questions from these people. Um, and even today, you know, I'm still looking for those those people in my life that can provide <laughs> like a, a masculine um, presence in my life. Um, but I think at the end of the day, what was super important for me to learn was to just be my, my, my own person rather than trying to find someone to look up to and someone to become. You know, um, and so through the years, I've taken all the best parts of any male role model that I've had in my life, whether it's you know, a movie star or, or you know, a pastor at a church or a teacher or something like that, and take all those good parts and, and bring them all together. Um, and I mean, that's another thing. Uh, religion. I, I grew up in in a church, and and now I've distanced myself from from a lot of that, and. Uh, I did that by choice, and, and I think that it's important for um, people to choose what they want to be doing. Um, as far as religion and education goes, because so many of us can be or are um, pressured into it for, by our parents or by, you know, f friends and, and family and stuff, and, and I think that the thing that ultimately is the goal 
for me and, and I think should be a goal for a lot of people is to just think for yourself and become your own person and so like learning is super important I always you know I've, I've wanted to learn I've been kind of a self teacher I just I was kind of an okay student but I didn't really pay attention in school and I would like to go home and kind of learn about stuff that no one was really teaching and um, in that sense I'm, I'm kind of a jack of all trades and a master of none <laughs> I'm really not that good at anything but I'm okay at a lot of stuff so you know I play instruments and and um, I like jokingly sing and would love to get better at that so that's one of those things that I'm working at you know uh, I'm a professional actor and so that's kind of one of the things that I'm doing is is constantly like trying to find the way to be become an actor uh, a successful actor in LA I've done a lot of theater and done a couple projects here and there um, maybe eventually I'll you know share them uh, and uh, it's just a changing world with the internet and you know Instagram and all this stuff I've I've certainly not gotten jobs because I haven't had thousands and thousands of followers so and I'm not gonna lie an impetus behind this not the main one um, but certainly a driving force is, is that you know I, I want to get out there and and have people know who I am but at the same time like when I was thinking about what I could do on YouTube and, and on Instagram and all this stuff um, this just seems like the best use of my time and, and things that I can be doing for other people I mean to be frank I, I don't really know what the internet looks like as far as positive male role models goes uh, and I would just like to help out in any capacity that I can and, and I just wish that I had had someone or a venue to look to and to ask questions to where it was a judgment-free zone and that's what I would like to provide so uh, if you were to email me down at the link below um, you know I would keep you anonymous and, and, and certainly address anything that you are asking or, or curious about or whatever it is with, uh, with sensitivity and, and um, you know, I can just kind of talk about it in general as well. I don't necessarily need to answer a question or whatever. Um, but it would be nice to have some prompts for things to talk about, you know. I can reach back into my adolescence and kind of pick things that I, um, like I said, like I was interested in or I had questions about but I'm only one person and while I have um, lived a lot of interesting little lives here and there and gone through a lot of you know a lot of BS I think that or I know that I I am very sheltered in my own little community and culture being white and being a man and being straight um, I I do what I can but there's there's definitely a community where we can come together and talk about all this stuff and I'd, I'd be interested to hopefully um, help in that and so again uh, feel free to just email me or comment below or whatever you'd like um, I think I'll be posting another video here pretty soon and that'll be up alright cheers